Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. You all know that we are uh, going to start modifying uh, my CT100 and uh, make a proper commutator with it with all uh, other bike parts and latest features. So, this is the part 1 video, that's the first video. So, today in this video, I am just going to show you how to install disc brakes in uh, any bike. That is, I am going to install uh, disc brakes in my CT100. You can follow the same procedure and install it on any bike guys. So, let's continue. The parts that you need, I am going to show you one by one. So, do follow my video and subscribe to my channel. So, let's continue now. So guys, this is going to be the first part in the process of modifying the CT100. And today in this video, what I am going to do is, I am going to remove this front full section and uh, install Pulsar 150's front section so that we get disc brakes installed in this bike. So, right now I will just show you how the process is done. So, let's continue. This video is regarding how to install disc brakes in uh, any bike like CT100 or Platina. So, let's continue now. So as you can see, I have already removed the headlight over here. Then you will have to remove these four bolts, remove the handle. Then remove this main nut which is gonna take off this top T plate. And after that is done, you will have to remove this chuck nut, get the bottom T out. And after that is done, uh, you will have to remove both these suspensions, this and that one. Remove the mud guard and remove the wheel. I will just show you the whole process now. After that, I will show you how to install uh, Pulsar's front section in this. So guys, you can see, you will need uh, this much of the front setup. I have removed it from Pulsar 150, it's UG3, you can use any model. So, I will just show you in a closer view. Yeah, here you can see the spoke wheel along with its disc and that's the disc caliber, the disc hose. And uh, I am going to install the same Pulsar's meter, Pulsar's handle and along with its uh, master cylinder. And I am going to install the same headlight guys. So that it will give a different look to my bike. So totally you will need this much of the setup. You can see this is how it looks. Yeah. So right now let me just start uh, disassembling my bike's front section. And I will also disassemble this whole set. Then I will show you how to install this in that bike. So let's continue now. Yeah guys, so to install disc brake in your bike, let it be any bike. The CT100. So I am going to install disc brakes in this bike. So you need this much of the whole uh, front section you can see this is the full front section of Pulsar UG3 you can use UG3 UG4 any model so I'm going to install this whole set in this bike so let's continue now I'll just show you the whole process stay tuned and subscribe to my channel let's continue over the edge feel like I'm floating through yeah. The pain I felt is paid for All is said and done Exaggerated, that's what you assume The story's over now, I must conclude I am conflicted, watching where I step Still hanging in the balance Not the life I want to live, I want to take it all Standing tall, fear I'm way the person you are because uh, there is nothing much big in it and uh, there is no need of any modification as the T you can see uh, here this black color T rod 
and the T rod which is present in that pulsar over there, it's same. So we can directly install uh, pulsar T forks uh, along with its T plate in CT100 or Platina. Uh, that is over here. So let's continue now. Yeah, guys, uh, you can see I have properly placed all the ball bearings over here and applied grease and I've kept it in a proper condition. This is on the top cone set and for the bottom cone set you can see over here I've done the same thing. I'll show you. Yeah, you can see I've uh, filled all the ball bearings which are required over here applied uh, proper grease and the greasing is done. So right now let me just insert this whole T set into this bike and install the chuck nut and do the finishing so let's continue i'll show you the whole process there's a closer view of the ball bearings Yeah guys, so as you can see here, this is my CT100 and I have installed a disc brake in the front section. You can see I have also used the same spokes wheel that is of uh, Pulsar 150. That is this full front set guys that is from here till here. This whole set is of uh, Pulsar 150. I have showed you the whole process how I have done this installation. You can see and uh, this meter and this lock everything including this headlight over here. Yeah, this one is of Pulsar 150, but uh, the handle which I've installed over here, you can see this handle is of uh, uh, Boxer or it's the same for CT and that is the same stock handle that is this one. So in my next upcoming video, I'm going to remove this handle and install Pulsar's handle net. And in the next video after that, I'm going to install uh, Duke 200's handlebar in this bike. So it look good as you can see. And this disc brake is also fully functioning. You can see, I'll show you how tight it is. We have done the brake bleeding. If you want a separate video regarding that, do comment below and I'll make sure that I'll make a separate video on how, how we'll have to do the disc brakes uh, oil bleeding. Okay, so it's here. So my next video, I'm going to remove this uh, rear section along with the wheel and the swing arm and uh, install the swing arm of FZ. We are not going to do mono suspension, we are going to install a dual suspension as it is in this bike. Because the size of the wheel and tire is very small in this bike, so we need a good uh, road grip. That's the reason I am going to install FZ swing arm in this. And this is the overall view of the bike. And this Pulsar set also looks very cool guys in my bike, you can see here. So that's it for this video. 
Yeah, guys, so I've already showed you how to install disc brake in any bike, and I've successfully finished installing the disc brakes in my CT100. So, this is the end of first part. In my next part, that is in the part two, I'm gonna install a rear wheel, guys, that is a broad rear wheel in my CT100. So, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for more updates. Do like this video if you have liked this video and if you have any doubt regarding any bike's modification feel free to comment below and i'll make sure that i'll reply you stay tuned for my upcoming videos guys bye